this is the very first video here on Ben Herring Golf website on our email marketing campaign. And thank you so much for tuning in. So there's going to be tons of great content on this website. Just tune in, check the videos portion. I'll populate that constantly. Also be sending out some emails with the newest content each week so that you can take control of your golf game. But where are we going to start today? Well, let's start with the most important aspect of the golf swing. And that's really how we put our hands onto the golf club. It is the only connection that we have with this golf club and this club face and it really helps us determine whether we bring that club face square open or close that impact and so first i want to talk about the left hand and how we get the left hand on there this is for those of you who are right handers obviously if you're left-handed we're talking about the right hand and how you put it on the club but so let's take a look at that left hand that top hand that we put on the club so now i want you to notice in the fingers, we kind of create what's called a lifeline down in the fingers. And I want that club shaft to lay right there in that lifeline of the fingers. I don't want it to get into the palm of the hand. I want it to get more in the fingers. If it gets in the palm of the hand, unfortunately the club doesn't hinge properly when we make the golf swing. So we're gonna lay it down in the fingers and then we're gonna get our left thumb to kind of go right over the club and go down that shaft, just on the other side of the shaft here, on this back side of it. So now that we got the left hand on there, how in the world do we get that right hand on? So there's three acceptable grips. Now for most people, beginners and just starting, this grip feels most comfortable. It's called the baseball grip. It's where you're getting all of your fingers on the shaft there. So that one feels really comfortable for those who just start because it's very similar to exactly what it's called, a baseball grip that we put onto it. So most people are used to that. Now the other acceptable grip is an overlapping grip. So we're taking the pinky finger, overlapping it over that, that left pointer finger there. Just like that, we get our hands on it like such. Now then the final and probably the most popular and the one that I use personally is the interlock. So you take the pointer finger of that left hand, pinky finger of the right, and those two interlock on each other. And then the hand gets on there properly. So now how in the world do we determine where that right hand needs to sit? Now. You'll, you've probably heard it a bunch. There's a weak grip, there's a strong grip, there's all sorts of different stuff there. So now, what really is a weak grip? Well, a weak grip is when that right hand and the left hand get rolled over to the left side of the shaft. Those of you that are right-handed, lead side of the shaft. Those of you who are left-handed, it's on the other side of that shaft, right? So when that right hand gets rolled over way like that, that is a weak grip, right? And so what does a weak grip really do? A weak grip prevents that club face from rotating shut through impact. And so just experiment this a little bit. Get that right hand way weak. Get it over there and just notice how hard it is to really shut that club, club face at impact. And then roll that right hand way under the shaft. This is now a strong grip. So that right hand's going way underneath it. And then you'll notice how easy it is to whip that thing shut. And so, you know, a weak grip Typically, those who like to fade the golf ball, hit a little cut out there, they typically like to have their hands a little weaker because that prevents the club face from closing as rapidly. Therefore, you can hit that nice little cut. Now, those who like to draw the ball, maybe they have a little bit stronger grip because that allows you to really shut that face. And so for this, how in the world do we figure out where we should get it? Well, I got a couple tools for you, and I recommend those of you who are just starting and even those of you who are going through a grip change, I mean, you could be the most experienced player in the world. If you're going through a grip change, it's difficult. You know, the, the thing I always tell people is, I, I don't want you to look for immediate results right away. Like you're not gonna put your hands on it differently and the very next swing is gonna be the best golf shot you've ever hit in your life. It's gonna take some time and repetition until that gets comfortable. So the analogy I always use, you probably, you're pretty good at brushing your teeth, right? You've done it two or three times every single day for your entire life. Well, if you brush your teeth with your right hand, typically, I want you to go home tonight and brush your teeth with your left hand. Now tell me how good you really think you are at brushing your teeth. Now something that's different, we put our hands on it differently, maybe something that we're so used to that we've done so many times is gonna start to feel strange, right? And the word that I would use is different. It feels a little different. And so until you put some repetition in, until you practice brushing your teeth with your left hand, it's really gonna be somewhat uncomfortable and you won't be immediately good at it, right? So it takes some time to do that. But all these things, these changes on the grip, 
right? So any changes that we make in our swing, it's really important that we put some repetition in before we completely abandon it. It's not a quick fix. You're not gonna be better at golf immediately the second that you do it. But when you put the time in, it's gonna be more consistent and you'll start to realize that. So now take this training age, whether you're a beginner or whether you're just making a change, you've been playing a long time, this training aid is tremendous. So it just forces your hands right into a perfect position. We get a nice grip on it, nice neutral grip. Another thing that we have, another tool, Skills Golf makes this one. And this you could just take your existing golf club. You could take this little piece and just snap it right onto here. And now all of a sudden it does the same thing. It gets your hands in a nice good spot so you have a nice grip on the golf club there. A really nice tool, you can pick those up. I think they're only like 15 bucks. You can get them online at skillsgolf.com. And then another way that you can do it, a tool that we always have on us, is a golf tee. Now how in the world do we use this golf tee then? Well, I'm gonna show you. So put that golf tee in your right hand. Those of you who are right-handers, put it right there in the right hand, right where the thumb is at. And then when you put your grip on it, what I want is I want that tee to point directly straight, right on there. I don't want it pointed way back. I want it pointed way left. When it's pointed directly straight, that is a nice neutral grip on the golf club. You could even hit shots like that, leaving the tee in there. So this is something you always have in your pocket, and this is a great tool to tell you whether or not you have a really weak or a really strong grip on the golf club. So try these things out. I really think it's gonna help you take your golf game to the next level, and really, the whole purpose of Ben Herring Golf is to help you take control of your golf game. So tune in for more content. We'll see you soon.